What's up everybody, Justin here from NBA The Show and I'm going to break down five players today that just need to retire. Now keep in mind this is in no specific order, just five players who really need to go. Number one, I'm going to start off with Nick Collison. Nick Collison is a 6 foot 10 power forward who was drafted 12th by the Seattle Supersonics in 2003. If you recognize the name, it sounds like he's been in the league forever and I personally didn't even know he still plays. Now in his 13th season, he has played 5 games, averaging 4.4 minutes per game, also averaged 0 points per game. He has never been a great player, he was decent in his first few years, but as he got worse, his minutes dropped and so has his numbers. Coming in at number 4 is Mike Miller. Now at the age of 36, they might think he's 40 after how many times he's bounced around the league after his Memphis Grizzlies days. Don't get me wrong now, Mike Miller was no scrub at his prime. A man who is a 40% career three-point shooter is a threat and really provided some depth for the Heat off the bench in the Big 3 era. Miller has been on seven different teams and now in the Denver Nuggets after making a stint on the Grizzlies twice and then being recruited by LeBron James when he brought him over to the Cleveland Cavaliers. When you've been passed around that many times, I think it's time to throw in the towel, Mr. Mike Miller. 17 years is enough. Number three on my list has to go to Mr. James Jones. James Jones is a lot like Mike Miller in regards to three-point shooting. Jones was never a great player. Yes, don't leave the man open from three, but people, who, people already know that. Jones was a better three-point shooter than a two-point shooter. He was drafted 49th to the Pacers in 03, so you can't really call him a bust. But being in the league for now his 14th season, I think it's time to throw in the towel, Mr. James Jones. James Jones played for five different teams and is now in the Cleveland Cavaliers with former teammate from the Miami Heat, LeBron James, who also recruited James to be his bench warmer. Jones, for his career, averaged 5.4 points per game, 1.9 rebounds per game, and 0.5 assists per game. Nothing to wow over, guys. Number two on my list goes to Udonis Haslam. I really like Haslam's spirit. However, I think it's best that he retires and become an assistant coach and works his way up to a head coach. Haslam always was a tough defender and had that 15-foot mid-range jumper, which was a set shot. A man who was undrafted, you got to give him some respect for his effort in his 14th season now in the league. He's averaging for his career 7.9 points per game, 6.9 rebounds per game, and 0.9 assists per game. However, over his last two seasons, he averaged 1.6 points per game and this year 0.8 points per game and shooting abysmal 25% this season. Miami day born and raised, Miami loves you Haslam, but it's time to retire and sit on the beach with some fine honeys, sipping some Martina. So go retire, buddy. Last but not least, my number one spot goes to Kendrick Perkins. Not Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Perkins. My guy, Kendrick, you must be in your 40s. No, you're not. How old are you? 32? Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Well guys, it's true. He's only 32 years old now in his 14th season. Perkins is now on the Pelicans and is playing a good 14 minutes a game. Yes, the Pelicans, what a funny name. But he's not really doing much with those minutes, averaging 2.5 points per game with 1.1 turnovers per game. Perkins was a guy who was never in shape, always overweight. He was like a phony Shaquille O'Neal to me. He's listed at 6'10", 270. But I really think he's more like 325 to 350. Don't lie to me, ESPN. I'm watching you. Perkins put up his best numbers in the 2009-2010 season with the Celtics when they had the big three of Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and Kevin Garnett. Kendrick Perkins, to be honest, bro, I feel like you've been in the NBA for at least 20 years. When you realize that you're not relevant anymore, maybe it's time to retire. Sorry, Kendrick. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick little mini episode. Make sure to punch that like button and don't forget to subscribe and share if you enjoy. Peace out, guys.